Hey everyone, Eric from Microchip Technology here, and today we're going to dive into a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop demo. This demo uses the PIX16F17146 microcontroller, but before we dive into the demo, let's cover some 4 to 20 milliamp basics. 4 to 20 milliamp loops consist of 3 to 4 main components. A sensor, which often contains the transmitter component too, a power source, and a receiver. The sensor and transmitter output a current between 4 to 20 milliamps, with 4 milliamps of current being the sensor's lowest measurement range, or 0%, and 20 milliamps being the sensor's highest measurement range, or 100%. When sensor measurements are taken, the transmitter adjusts the current in the loop to represent the respective signal value. For the loop to function, there has to be a source of power to the loop. 9, 12, or 24 volts are commonly used. Finally, we have the receiver, and as its name suggests, the receiver receives and interprets the current signal in the loop and converts it back to a usable measurement value, allowing for analysis on data that was measured. There are two separate GitHub write-ups for this example. One of them is for the sensor and transmitter portion, and the other write-up is for our power source and the sensing circuit, which is included in our receiver uh, board here. Now let's go ahead and switch to the overhead camera. Looking at the sensor and transmitter example first, we'll be using a PIC16F17146 Curiosity Nano development board, a Curiosity Nano baseboard, a SHTAN clickboard, and a 4 to 20 milliamp T clickboard. The SHTAN clickboard measures the ambient temperature and outputs an analog voltage signal. The signal is then read by the PIX16F17146's ADCC, where it can be displayed on a local terminal or be used to trigger another event in the application. The signal data is also sent to the 4 to 20 milliamp T click using the serial peripheral interface bus. The clickboard reads the data and it adjusts the current flowing through the loop according to the temperature measured. In this example, 4 milliamps of current represents 0 degrees Fahrenheit, while 20 milliamps of current represents 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But to read the current through the loop, we need our receiver. The receiver consists of a current sensing circuit built on a proto clickboard, while the 16 volt power supply for the loop comes from the boost clickboard. The current sensing circuit uses an 84 ohm resistor and the PIX16F17146's internal op-amp and ADCC with a fixed voltage reference to measure the current across the resistor. Since both the transmitter and receiver components are connected in a loop, the current read over the sensing resistor represents the temperature that the SHTAN clickboard measured. 4 to 20 milliamp current loops provide a cost-effective solution for signals traveling over long distances, while providing the added benefit of being less sensitive to ambient electrical noise. But one of the most important reasons there's still a dominant standard in many industries today is because it's incredibly simple to detect a fault in the system. Since the current in the loop should never drop below 4 milliamps, if it were to, that would be a great indication of either failing components or a severed wire. And this open loop condition is shown on screen here. 4 to 20 milliamp current loops have been a reliable and well-adopted solution for sensor applications in various industries. I highly recommend that you guys check out the two GitHub posts in the description below, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to not miss PIC and AVR demos in the future. Have a great day.